Hello Leo, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator for your he says she says spread for May. So let's see what we got going on for my dear Leo. What are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Let's see what is going on in your love and relationship department. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's just hop right into it. What's the past? Where are you coming from, Leo? What happens? What's going on? Oof, the death card. Okay, that's... That's like, okay, slam the door, shut off. <laughs> wow, slam dunk the funk, right? Like, that's the death card. That's like, the past cannot re-enter again. You've, you've gone through a deep transformation. We're also having the Scorpio full moon so there's definitely a huge transformation going on um it, depending on where it is and your in which house there's definitely a lot of changes that you have gone through some were not that great but you know what they say as one door closes the other one opens so you're definitely going through a deep transformation you may be still in the midst of it emotions are you know running up and low and high and dry and everything but what the outcome is with the page of cups there is going to be a new emotional beginning or a new type of situation that you are attracting to your life so let's see what else what else with this death card? What is going on with Leo? Yeah, five of pentacles in the reverse. Like, wow, that's amazing. I mean, this is you despite feeling left out, despite being abandoned and not cared for or feeling, um, you know, as almost I feel like as an outsider in a situation you manage it quite well you're slowly but surely coming out of that dark space you may not really see it because the energies are still quite dark all right but you feel it in your bones that things are changing for the better that you're not that you know i want to say that lonely maybe you felt lonely for a very long time but that is about to change there's a huge transformation going on internally and externally if you've had any financial struggles um, you may have retired or you may have, um, you know, you're moving on to the next phase of your life. So this is a very good start of your reading, all right? Despite the fact that it's very heavy energy, you are definitely going through a deep transformation here. There, there might be definitely still a purging out of a lot of emotions here with this moon card. There might be a... A secret that that has been revealed that actually triggered you to slam the door you know like it was like secret out and there is no way to go back you know like you cannot go back and yes it's going to be painful it's going to be dark space it's going to be feeling neglected and limited in a situation or a relationship but you know there is no way that you can go backwards because once the death card comes you can never go back right like that's just that's just life right so that's also what the situation is calling for you to do to embrace the changes to embrace the transformation that is going on and you will be soon if not now um or i feel like within two weeks or within a week there's going to be a really big shift all right like there's going to be definitely a huge release that is going on right now I have been feeling completely drained for, I don't know, it started like somewhere last week or something. Slowly but surely, I'm really trying to do all that I can to pick myself up. But all I want to say is like, I feel you. I know where you're coming from. The energies are huge and intense. Um, so yeah, no wonder because it's, it's the Scorpio full moon. Scorpio full moons are always very intense, always quite heavy in the energy and with the situations that is going on right now it can it can only be for the better but you know the intensity can be like double you know it's double the trouble all right what's their energy what's where they're coming from yeah whoa okay someone moved on to a third party situation that's, that's why you shut the door. That's why you feel left out. You're slowly but surely coming out of it. But someone in the past 
uh, went on to a third party situation. That's very clear for me to see. All right. They, they, they wanted to make it work elsewhere and that's why you feel this down energy because why did they want to make it work there but they did not want to make it work with me, right? So we're starting quite heavy here in the energy. Let's see, what is your current energy? Justice, yes! I'm getting so excited for you. Oh my god, look at that. This person did you quite dirty. Let's just be honest, they did you dirty, all right? With the justice, you are going to get your justice. So if you've been treated unfairly, just know that the universe is backing you up. They're on your side. There's going to be balance and harmony. There's also a win-win situation here, all right? There's a lot of compromise. Someone could be speaking the truth towards you and telling you that you, they're sorry that they really know that they've hurt you all right this is someone that wants to um, clear the air all right is what i'm getting that you might have been involved in a legal matter and that is going to um you know, you're gonna have a good response from this le legal matter, all right? For some of you, there is a Libra or an Aquarius that is going to enter your life, is what I'm seeing here as well. Also, what I'm seeing is that you've paid your karmic dues. Look at this, both cards are having the same type of uh, colors in it. So this just tells me that you've paid your karmic dues. So whatever you've been through, it was a hell, it was quite draining. It was hurtful with the five of pentacles. There might have been a depression here, but you've paid your dues. The, the karmic clearing is over for you. I wanna pull actually one more card. And you now, you now know better is what I'm hearing. Like you can use your discernment and make better decisions right now. Better decisions for yourself. Not let people cross your boundaries. Not let people uh, walk all over you like there's going to be a very deep sense of when to stop or when to mm, like when to stop the reciprocity as well as what I'm hearing what what else for Leo ten of swords in the reverse yeah wow like you you're gonna get your justice after someone has betrayed you, all right? And it, it's it's not always, <sighs> yeah, walking away. Like, this just means that your soul is just ready to release it, like ready to let it go. And sometimes we don't want to hear it, but the reality is if you keep on holding on to it, it's just going to give you more pain and more suffering. So what you need to do is make a, fair and just decision for yourself and your own soul by realizing and accepting that the emotional aspect of the situation is not fulfilling you. It, it, it's empty, it's run dry, it's like this, the Sahara here, all right? It's like a desert. Because you've been dealing with someone that has been lying, that has done a lot of trickery behind your back. The Seven of Swords is coming up in every reading together with the Ten of Swords. So everyone's, like, it's funny because we're in a lockdown period, but somehow all the people's deception, uh, deceptive behavior and their betrayals are coming to the forefront, which is quite funny because we are going through a transformation of energy. It, isn't that just funny? That, you know, ain't it funny? I believe that I said that in, I don't know in which reading, I believe it was in Capricorn. And I was like, is J-Lo a Leo? And it was like, no, J-Lo, uh, um, Capricorn. And it was like, no, J-Lo is a Leo. I was like, oh, okay. See, Leo, ain't it funny? J-Lo, that's what is going on. Okay, calm down, all right? The energy just got like, whew. All right. Let's see what is going on with them. Yeah, this person, I, this is coming up also in all the readings, the Empress in the reverse and the Four of Cups. Like there is this overall team, what is going on, people that have been, you know, taking you for granted. They did not participate into, you know, building this relationship, growing together, you know, that unconditional love, um, unconditional respect. For me, the, the Empress is also 
definitely talking about you know respect you know respect for yourself respect for the urge respect for the for um for the person that you're dealing with there has been a lack of love here all right this person was just not accepting it like they 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 did they did take it for granted point period blank the four of cups they were rejecting the empress which is you despite your gender it's like it's like someone that just is not accepting and why is that can you tell me why judgment and the four of wands and the seven of swords look at that this seven of swords is definitely a sneak that is haunting you there is definitely someone that is haunting you with a lot of deception that you really need to walk away from Ah, but who am I to tell you, right? Like, who am I to tell you? So we got the judgment here. This person comes to the realization that it's just not making them happy, right? Like, I wish I could tell you otherwise, you know, with that just as you want to have your fair and just outcome um, to maybe ease your soul. But the reality is that this person comes to the full understanding and they, they, they look at their past with you, with other people, and they realize, like, I'm not happy where I am in this situation. With, with the four of wands in the reverse, it's like, you know, something is not right for them. And you cannot change that, right? Like, that, that's, if you try to change that, that, that won't that won't give you any success because if someone is just not grateful of what you put into the table what more can you do right like what more can you do and then goes behind your back to do whatever they want to do they will not get satisfied with anything with this type of energy and that's just because yeah I don't know. I'm just not getting a good vibe. Like, this is someone that is just a mess. That they don't even know what they want in their own life or what truly brings them happiness. Or, so what they do, they steal other people's happiness. Four of Swords. In the reverse. So this is you still not being able to put it at rest here all right with the four of swords there is definitely a lot of ruminating thoughts not being able to clear your mind um not being able to sleep well all right there's a lot of sleep deprived energy deprived energy and to be honest i always get that during the full moons but with, especially with scorpio it can be very intense because it does rule also a lot of um, dreams all right so you may receive a lot of messages through your dream space or have very vivid dreams that you're trying to put in clarity right yeah Ooh. you know i think <clears throat> We got the Three of Swords coming out, we got the Three of Pentacles popping here, and we got the Empress. So there are three threes here, and that's a majority. So I feel like your, your feeling is like, you just want to know why them, right? Like, why that person? Like, that's, that's what really causes you to feel a lot of pain, because this is most definitely looking like a third-party situation. Someone that broke your heart, that gave more nurturing to another situation or dedicated more time and energy into another relationship. And there is this questioning, right? Like, and it could be because, hmm, I don't know. I wanted to say you need to check where your Aries is placed, all right? There might be some type of, um, situation going on hmm. anyhow there is just a lot of pain there's a lot of forgiveness that still needs to happen in this connection for you to have a mm, peace of mind and move forward right 
And I'm just getting like, you just want to know why. Like, why did you put in the energy into this person? And why did you just discard all the effort and uh, compassion that I gave to you? So, yeah. I mean, what, what, what can we do about that, right? But you need to make things clear in your head, all right? Like there is definitely a clearing out that needs to happen, like a clear mind, be very objective. You know, these things happen, it just happens. And sometimes there is not really a reason. Sometimes it just means that you had a karmic depth from your past life or I don't know. I'm as clueless right now as you are, so <laughs> seriously. Let's see, let's see if we can tie this up somehow, somehow. What is the blockage for them? What's their issue? What was their issue with you, Leo? What was their issue? So that's a lot of blockages here. <sighs> 10 of swords is so, wow. This is the reason why I really need a lot of rest before I can start with these readings. They're so heavy. Seven of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Like, I feel that this person had some type of an arrogance of not, not wanting to see their mistakes. And perhaps they find that way about you as well. Uh, I know that you're just going to jump up and say like, no, it's not me. But, you know, there is a reason behind it, right? So this individual feels like sometimes you can be very defensive, like you, you, you want to see it your way, like very fixed energy, right? Like, and sometimes you create something in your mind and you're like, I need to stand my ground with it despite anything, which causes more and more um, heaviness, all right? So my point of view is maybe it's it, like you need to speak it up directly when there's something bothering and 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 not try to close it off and then just like try to figure it out on your own in your own head and then making it a big deal later on and then just like putting it out on the table out of the blue just like boom there it is you know this is like when you um when you save everything into your head and and you try to act like everything is cool from the outside like no i'm cool and i'm blocking everything out i'm in peace and then when the sh shit gets tough and shit hits the van you explode and there is a lot of heaviness right so take that as it resonates and this could definitely also be them but yeah that's what i'm seeing here Hmm. Oh gosh. What is your intention? Strength. Yes. You know, you you do feel like you've lost a great part of yourself nurturing and feeding this situation right like you've lost a great sense of your own self-worth that's why i keep on getting aries like the i am right like who are you and who were you before you were dealing with this individual and you reflect a lot back and thinking like where is the old me you know like the old me is dead and gone dead and gone that, that's what you feel but that could bring a lot of nostalgic feelings as well because before you were so much more tougher and brighter and better and bigger and stronger and you know all all the positivity that you can imagine but right now you feel like what happened i had it all so this is you to come back to the point that i was trying to make um you know searching yourself back Right, like you, you, you're trying to find that old you back, but some part of your old you may be lost. So, with the death card there, that's why I'm saying it. So maybe, hmm. I, I think it, it will return. You know, you know, try to call in back your power, call back your strength, call back your 
all that has been lost, all right? Like, try to regain that. Try to regain back what you have lost, all right? Wow. It's been a crazy reading so far, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Knight of Wands in the reverse. So what that means to me is that what I wanted to say, like the, the point that I wanted to make is like, yeah, you know, when you reflect back to the old you and like you were like, you did not have any fear of rejection, for example, or things like that. And now you start to um, have those fears and you're like, no, I used to be more bold. Like I, sh I, I used to be like this, the old you that is gone. Listen, the old you that is now dead and gone, that you should not take back, is the one that was very flighty, is the one that would jump from one place to another, is the one that would say things, say things irrationally or bluntly or um, involved in situations that your higher self knew that you needed to hold back from. You get what I mean? But that's the balance, right? Like. There is a good and a bad to everything. This is the A, this is, you know, karmic number as well. So there's the balance that you need to create. Like, yes, I will not accept. You get me. I'm, I'm, I'm stop. I stop there. Stop there. Spirit is like, okay, they get the point. On to the next one. See, that's the, <laughs> that's what you should not do. Like, on to the next one, on to the next one. Okay, what is going on with your energy, Leo? Funny, let's see. What is their intention with you? So avoid drama, avoid saying things that you're going to regret. King of Swords, That's there's the King of Swords again. Ace of Wands, it's getting interesting. And the Five of Pentacles. Hmm, mm, mm, mm. And then we got the Two of Cups in the reverse with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, what do I say about this, right? I don't even know how to word this. Like what I'm getting through is not really easy for me to tell you and not easy for you to hear, but I gotta tell you what I need to tell you. But this is the one that wants to make things clear and tell you that it's only, you know, that, that, that there was a lot of sexual passion, but that's it. Um, this is someone that, you know, does, does not, is not ready for a relationship. That's like basically what I'm seeing. Like this is someone that is, um, that rather wants to be alone, that rather wants to disconnect, uh, than anything else like that's that that's basically what i'm seeing here that's their intentions all right because i feel like this person is still going through a lot of stress themselves like they they're not they're not emotionally invested that's what i'm seeing like their their intention is not to emotionally invest at this point so be careful be careful gosh What is your outside influence, please? King of Cups, but there is someone new coming in or this is someone um, around you. This could be someone else that you have been dealing with that you actually already know that it's not going to lead anywhere. 
This is a King of Cups in your outside influence. So th there is a water sign, probably Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Someone that wants to emotionally invest in you. So thank God this situation is, you know, turning in a little bit more positive. I'm so happy that you're not dealing only with this individual that will give you another nightmare here. But there is definitely someone here around you that wants to nurture the situation. I see Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups cups uh, in your outside influence so if this is the same person this is emotion this is someone that is emotionally very grounded they're very practical they're very successful they're very mature in expressing their emotions in um, being very practical within the relationship all right so you know this looks so much better than where you're coming from and you know it and you know it so this is definitely a new person. This is not the same person that I was talking about, all right? The person that I was talking about, however, is showing up here. The moon, the emperor, and the six of cups, all in the reverse. You know, you need to come to the realization that this person was a deep connection, but they had a lot of baggage with them, all right? they, they This, to me, looks like they brought out the worst in you for you to heal that void within yourself to go through that separation to go through that loneliness and um, feeling neglected and abandoned for you to heal that so it looks like a karmic situation that is now being resolved whereas you may not clearly see it for some you may you may want to you know cut this person off and you are doing it with the king of swords because they brought a lot of tower moments and betrayals into your life but what i'm seeing is that this person may have been really trying to play with your emotions and be very demanding be very controlling perhaps even control the way that you express your emotions this is all um you know sometimes the negative can help us to heal past wounds you know inner childhood issues and that's what i feel like you've been going through with this individual right here magician right there see this is someone like i said this is someone that wants to make things happen with you and i feel like your energy is not really focused on anything else because you still are dealing with the aftermath of this breakup or this ending or this pain so yeah that's what i'm seeing what is their outside influence? What has been influencing them? Yeah, Emperor in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles. And the Chariot in the reverse. So, I see a very stubborn individual here. Someone that really misuses their power sometimes. All right, I feel like they they they're in a mess. There is there is there is this feeling that I'm getting that this person does not even know where they're going, like what they want out of life. There is a lack of maturity here. All right, and I feel that if you keep on holding on to this individual, this other person may just pass you by with this knight of pentacles because they seem to be much more mature they seem to be much more um serious but they might be in the middle between you and this individual energetically as well so you might want to you know make sure that you clear out the past completely before you jump into the next situ situation as well so you don't repeat the same cycle too that's what i'm getting through here yeah, the fool, you know, you need to travel lightly. Don't travel with a heavy heart, all right? Because their energy can energetically still block you from making progress in other relationships because you will not recognize what you have in front of you because you will still be in pain of what, you know, what has been done to you. I feel the justice is definitely saying, hey, Leo, the universe got your back. Just, you know, do your work. Do your, do your part of it and don't engage with people that are being too demanding, too controlling, too manipulative, alright? 
Like seriously, confidence is your key to success. The full moon, new moon in Leo, all right? Start to get your confidence back, definitely. Wow. Okay, we got Leo reading and we got the new moon and Leo card. Like what else do you want, right? Let's see. Boundaries. Definitely that king of swords, that just as you will call them out. Like, you know, like I said, don't let this person walk all over your boundaries to manipulate you, to trick you, to, you know, you're giving your power away to the emperor in the reverse. That's definitely a very toxic, negative uh, individual and you need to start putting up those boundaries. Resilience. So that was my reading for you guys. I am going to continue on Vimeo. So if you want to check out the extended reading, the link is down in the description box below this video. And just want to say thank you to all of you for your love, light and support. And I see you guys next week. Thank you and bye.